Okay, so our next problem is super bowling. <laughs> a ball modeled as a round rigid body with moment of inertia I is gamma MR squared is rolling without slipping down a rough plane inclined at an angle beta. First, what is the acceleration of the center of mass? Second, what is the frictional force exerted on the ball? And third, what is the maximum value of beta for which the ball rolls without slipping? So uh, remember, ang tinatanong na ay acceleration, tsaka acceleration, uh, acceleration, tsaka force. So therefore, what um, method do we need to use? Do we use energy methods here or force methods? So, force method. Yes, that we will be using force methods in this problem. Okay, so I'll just show you the solution to this problem. Okay, so again, since we need to use um, force methods, uh, we will, uh, since we want A and F, A, C, M and F, um, I should say small f na lang yan. We need to use um, Newton's second law. Okay? So, ano unang ginagawa pag Newton's second law? We draw a free body diagram. We draw an extended free body diagram for the ball. Again, the moment of inertia of the ball is I is gamma mr squared. Bakit ginawa kong gamma mr squared yan? Kasi, uh, remember, we're dealing with um, balls for rolling without skipping. Hindi natin pa nag-uusap, for example, rods. Hindi tayo mag mag magpapaikot ng, ng rod dyan. Uh, usually, ginagamit natin ay ball. Uh, the main reason for that is, kasi, remember, we have two assumptions. Uh, dapat sa geometric center ang ating object. And, and therefore, uh, sorry, dapat as a geometric center ang center of mass. And hence, uh, konti lang yung medyo nagsasatisfy nun. So for example, um, uh, for example, a cylinder or a sphere, yung mga yan, nasasatisfy nyo itong mga rolling conditions. So therefore, we will only deal with problems involving a um, uniform sphere, a hollow sphere, a uniform cylinder, and a hollow cylinder. And it turns out na ganito lagi yung form na expression nila. It's some gamma times m times r squared. Okay? So we're, Depende yan. Depende sa type ng gamma kung ano yung magiging, uh, magiging expression. So, so for example, for a uniform solid sphere, gamma equals 2 fifth. For a uniform solid cylinder, gamma equals 1 half. Dibawa, yung mga exa examples sa'yo na common na lumalabas. So pag rolling objects, usually sphere or cylinder lang ang lalabas dyan. Weird kapag may rod dyan. Okay? Now, going back to our discussion, um, medyo ano lang yun, side, um, side comment. Uh, okay? Um, what I will do is I'll draw uh, an incline. <laughs> Mag-drawing ako na incline. Okay. Ay, sorry. Drawing tayo ng incline. Sorry, sorry for that. Okay. Tapos, so drawing ako ng bilog. This circle will specify the... Okay. Then, lakihan ko na lang siya. Lakihan ko. Para magkita. Okay. So, yan. And then, after that, I'll... what are the forces acting on the ball? What are the forces acting on the ball? Wait. Of course, ang weight. Ang tanong ngayon, since we are dealing with an extended free body diagram, where does weight act? Saan nag-act ang weight? No? Center of mass. Yes, it will act at the, strictly speaking, it will, won't act at the center of mass. It will act at the center of gravity. But for smaller objects, the center of mass and the center of gravity are in the same location. <laughs> Kaya, okay lang yan. Pag-uusapan natin yan when we go to statics and uh, uh, that's lecture 25 if I remember correctly. But for the meantime, sige, sa center of mass muna. Now, okay, next. What are the other forces? Ano pa? Friction. Okay, uh, later natin yung friction. Kasi mayroon akong ikukwento dyan. Um, uh, of course, the surface will be acting with a normal force. Di ba may normal force dapat yan? With some direction like this one. Ah, uh, tabi niya. Yan. So, may contact force siya, this, which is given by some n. Tapos, uh, let's say you have a large dot here. And then afterwards, ano pa yung isa pang force na, ano, so friction. Sinabi mo na yung friction. Ngayon, the question is, saan mag-act yung friction? Okay. Sige. Um, Pag-usapan muna natin, para malaman natin yung direction ng friction, uh, specify muna natin saan yung magiging direction 
ng object. Nung pagbagsak ng object. Okay. Of course, uh, we don't want our accelerations to be our basis of the direction of the frictional force. Um, just like in, uh, in, for example, in translational motion, medyo, medyo iffy yun kapag gumamit ka ng acceleration as a basis. But let's use some physical argument. Okay. Saan? Again, our assumption is that the object crawls without slipping downward with some angular acceleration given by alpha. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, anong tendency ng bola na to? Bibilis ba siya o babagal? Bibilis ba siya babagal? Habang bumabagsak? Or habang dumudalas pa baba? Bibilis ba siya babagal? Bibilis siya, di ba? Therefore, we say that the angular acceleration and the angular velocity are in the same direction kasi mag-speed up siya. And then, since the motion of that object is going downwards, the tendency of that object is uh, to go downward. And um, the frictional force will act opposite to that tendency. Therefore, saan dapat mag-aakang frictional force? Saan dapat mag-aakang frictional force? It should be upward, correct? So, yan. Dapat upward siya. Okay? Now, ganito. Ito na medyo nakakalito. It turns out... Uh, so yeah, liberal ko muna. So you have normal force, uh, sorry, we to, capital MG. So this is normal force N, and this is frictional force F. So, okay, and this is some beta. Um, this angle here is some beta. Okay. Tapos ito, perpendicular yung dalawang yan. Okay. Now, even if umaakit yung bola, the frictional force should still point in the same direction. Bakit? No? Bakit? No? An explanation is on the on the torque. So, yeah. Mag-calculate mag muna tayo ng torque. Huh? Para i-prove ko yung point na to. So, okay. What is the torque exerted by the weight? Huh? Anong torque na exert ang weight? Anong torque na exert ang weight? Huh? Ano lang yan? Huh? Remember, the weight acts on the center of mass. Therefore, what should be the lever arm for this one? Huh? Ano lang yan? Huh? Diba? So we have RF or RMG sin phi. R here is zero kasi it acts at the center of mass. Therefore, the torque exerted on the weight of an object should vanish. Wala dapat torque na ina-exert ang weight. On the other hand, what is the torque exerted by the normal force? Anong yung torque na ina-exert ang normal force? Okay. May lever arm. Okay. The lever arm is from this position here towards that. So this is R lever arm which is given by R capital R. So RN but what is the angle between the lever arm and the, and the force? So, ano yan? So you have R, R, tapos N pataas din. Antiparallel sila, di ba? Antiparallel yung R tsaka N. Therefore, this is simply Rn sine of 180 degrees and therefore, this is also zero. The only force that will create a torque on this rigid body is the frictional force. Okay? Now, the direction, na, na question now, is sabi ko nga kanina, di ba? The direction of the frictional force, regardless kung paakit o pababa yung bola, ay dapat nasa pataas. Dapat upward. Bakit? Kasi R cross F out of the paper, same direction as angular acceleration. For our torque relation to be consistent, the direction of the frictional force should be upward. Otherwise, inconsistent, yung pag-ikot ng bola, and therefore, the direction of the angular acceleration will be inconsistent with the direction of the frictional force. Ang nagkakos ka ng angular acceleration, yung frictional force lang. Okay? Questions? May tanong? Gets ba yun? Gets ba yung nangyayari? I need, to, I need to emphasize this kasi baka ang gawin nyo, nasa F, pag nag, umakit na yung bola, ibalik na yung direction of friction, it turns out at the spot. Okay? Sige. Now, going back, so... Now, we use Newton's second law for rotation. That is, ano yan? Summation of torques is just I alpha, which is equal to what? Again, the only force that will create a torque is the frictional force. So this is R cross F out of the paper. So this is, ano angle between them? It's 90 degrees kasi bola yan, tangential yung force. And therefore, I have an RF here. This is equation one. Okay? And then after that, uh, we also use Newton's second law. Remember, again, we're dealing with static friction here, not kinetic friction. Therefore, don't use our FS is mu SN. Bawal yan. Di pa natin gagamitin yan. Di pa pwedeng gamitin yan. Okay? 
gagamitin natin ang Newton's second law para hanapin yung frictional force. We use Newton's second law. Since there is a linear acceleration. Okay. Remember, other than this angular acceleration here, dapat yung linear acceleration mo, meron ka acceleration ng center of mass. Dyan. And um, if we draw free body diagram of that, pag drawing ka ng free body diagram ng bola, without taking into consideration the the uh, the dimensions, ang mangyayari, meron ako dito normal force, tapos may weight ako na downward, tapos may frictional force ako dito, tapos uh, meron ako net acceleration to the left. Tapos ang gagawin ko, I will assume that the direction of the acceleration is the direction of the torque. So, okay. So the direction of the acceleration, uh, masyara makapal to. Sorry. It's the positive direction, it's about. It's the positive direction. So in that case, summation of forces acting on X for the first object, ano lang yan? Ano lang yan? This will give rise to some acceleration, MACM, which is just then equal to what? Ano lang yan? Ang positive dito ay yung MG, right? So I have an MG, sine or cosine? Sine, di ba? So I have an MG sine beta. Minus F. So this is equation 2. And then summation of forces, gulat rin natin, for Y, for the, hindi na natin kailangan yung uh, forces for Y, is simply M, ACM, which is simply, ah, hindi, sabaw. This should be zero, kasi hindi naman umaakit baba, hindi umaakit baba yung bola. Therefore, you have M, um, this is just N, minus MG, cosine beta. This is equation Three. Okay. Now, itong equation 3, di ba natin kailangan yan? Kasi ang hinaharap lang naman natin is angular acceleration and frictional force. So, at saka linear acceleration. Um, wala naman kasing A at saka alpha sa equation 3. So, hindi natin magagamit yung equation 3. Pero, in that case, effectively, may dalawa lang tayong equations, pero may tatlong unknowns. Ano pa yung kulang natin? Kulang pa tayo ng non-slip condition. So, but, since the ball rolls without slipping. ACM is R alpha. Let's just say equation four. Okay. Now, um, we first solve for the acceleration. Kasi yung hinahanap. First, solve for ACM. Paano gagawin dyan? Paano gagawin? Um, what I will do is, I'll substitute equation four to equation 1 para ma-eliminate ko o para ma-express ko yung acceleration ng center of mass sa uh, frictional force. So, so, okay. Then, I have an I quantity ACM over R equals R F. This is equation 5. Okay. But what is I? Recall, since the, um, recall, the moment of inertia is gamma MR squared um, implying that gamma mr squared times acm over r equals, uh, I divide ko na both sides to by 1 over r. So, magka-cancel to. And I say I have an r squared here. Therefore, this is equal to f, equation 6. And therefore, the r squared will cancel. Hence, so that the frictional force is now related to the, uh, the center of mass acceleration, gamma m acm, equation 7. Okay? Now, pero alam natin ang parehas yung F at saka A. Hindi natin alam yan. Ang alam lang natin yung weight ng object. Kasi alam natin yung mass niya eh. Okay. Now, um, okay. Gal balik tayo kay, so nagamitan natin tong torque relation. We already used this one. Um, so, okay na to. We already use this one. And, and tong 3, hindi natin pa nagagamit. Hindi natin magagamit yan. Ang kailangan na natin gamitin is equation 2. So we substitute equation 7 to equation 2 so that uh, an MACM equals MG sine beta minus F, which is just equal to, medyo iligilid ko to, 
um, mas haba kasi siya. This is simply mg sine beta minus gamma ma cm, equation 8. So, and thus, if I transfer this to the other side of the relationship, I will get something like an m quantity MECM quantity 1 plus gamma equals mg sine beta. And therefore, if I cancel the masses, hence, I will get something like an ACM is simply g sine beta all over 1 plus gamma. This is the acceleration of the ball downward. Nakuha? Questions? Nakuha to? Opo. Gets? Now, it, now it's dependent on, type, on the type of the rigid body. The, the center of mass acceleration will be different. Depends on the gamma. Okay? Sige. Now, what about the force? Recall that we already have an expression for the for force in terms of the center of mass acceleration. Kasi F is just equal to 1. Ito yun, no? Ito yun, no? Equation 7. Diba? We all have an expression relating F and ACM. And from there, we get something like an F equals M. Uh, sorry, gamma M ACM. And then substituting uh, equation 9 um, to equation 7. This is just gamma M times G sine beta all over 1 plus gamma. Or gandahan naman natin ng konti. F is simply um, gamma all over 1 plus gamma MG sine beta. Beta. This is our expression for the frictional force that is acting on the mass or on the ball. Observe here na hindi natin ginamit yung mu Fn. Wala tayong in-invoke na normal force dyan. Again, we are not sure whether this frictional force is the maximum static friction. Wala pa tayong sinasabi kung tulad. Okay? And then finally, for letter C, what is the maximum static friction? Maximum beta pala. Okay. Okay, so ano yan? Remember, apansinin mo dito, uh, remember, the maximum, ito, totoo na to. Kasi hinahanap na natin yung maximum beta and the frictional force, the maximum frictional force is happens uh, when it is proportional to the normal force. Totoo na to dito. So, Fs maximum equals mu s n. This is true for the maximum static friction. Ito, hindi pa natin sure na maximum static friction yan. Okay? Ang pwede natin adjust equation 10 ay yung length ng yung angle beta. So, meron certain beta that will make the, the frictional forces maximum. Okay? Now, what is n? But what is n? Recall equation 3. Naala niyo sa equation 3. Sa equation 3, ang sinasabi niya, nare-relate niya yung normal force sa weight of the no object. So, this means that since um, 0 equals N minus um, capital M G cosine beta, this means that N is simply MG cosine beta, equation 12. So, and from that, I can substitute equation 12 to equation 11 so that what? Ang mangyayari dyan, I have an Fs max equals a mu s. Let's assume that the coefficient of static friction is given. Mu s mg cosine of beta, let's say beta max yan. Again, ang pwede natin adjust ay yung maximum angle. Okay, so this is equation 13. But... We already have an expression for the frictional force given by equation 10. So I can relate equation 10 should be equal to equation 13 at beta equals uh, beta max. And hence, um, thus we see that we have gamma all over 1 plus gamma mg sine beta max equals mu s mg cosine of beta so the mg's here will cancel and hence we therefore obtain an expression relating uh, the maximum angle and, uh, and the coefficient of static friction. Tangent beta max is gamma plus 1 over gamma. 
times mu s. That is an expression that we want, equation 14. Okay, questions. So, may tanong? May tanong ba rito? Wala? Walang questions? None? Okay. <laughs> Again, so mu s here, kung naalala nyo yung angle of repose problems ng first exam coverage, medyo related yun dito. But instead of just uh, tangent theta is mu s, which will obtain as the angle of repose, maximum angle for which the object will move with constant velocity, uh, dito nagkaroon na ng effect yung, pag, yung shape ng object, which is um, given by your gamma. Okay? Questions? May tanong? Wala? Wala? Okay, sige. Wala. 